hello and welcome to my channel if today is your first time you're welcome and please if you find this video helpful uh, please do not forget to click on the red subscribe button by the right hand side of the video screen uh, that will you know serve as a motivating factor for me to keep on uploading videos of this kind so and that will be like that will serve as um, yeah as a motivating factor and I say, I say thank you for this video so today I'm gonna show you how you can make use of Oracle database without installing any software uh, you can install uh, SQL database or the Oracle uh, SQL developer that this this you uh, this you can see here Oracle SQL developer uh, this is the recommended one um, is a local database but if you don't have that time like to open this or to install this there is a way you can practice um by using the the web part of it uh like uh, here let's go to oracle so before you make use of the live sql um you must have an oracle account i have i have one already and here you can create an account if you don't have so I have one already. Let me sign in. Okay. So to go to live SQL, what you can do is to you see my the the website here, live SQL, live SQL dot oracle. Just go there and um let's see. So sign in and um, sign in. So this is uh, where we are right now. So here, go to start coding now. Click on start coding now. And here we go, the SQL worksheet. So here you can create your own, you can create your table, your own tables or uh, we can make use of the already created tables that Oracle, you know, created. Uh, so here, let me say, um, let's say, select star from HR dot employees, employees, and run. So here we have the columns, employee ID, first name, last name, email, phone, hire, dates. Uh, these are the information we have under the employees table. So select is a command that we use uh, to, you know, get information from uh, from the data we have, you know, on our database and the uh, star represents like all the columns on that particular table uh you know from represent the the particular table we we uh we want to query so we're querying the employees table and this hr here is actually the schema where this table is stored if you go to schema and then um let's see what we have schema so uh, we have a lot of tables created uh, uh, located here on schema so if you go here schema and uh, let, me see, let me see human resource that is HR. you can see the departments you can see employees you can see all the all the countries you can see all the tables here so let's get back to the sql worksheet and um, do some pra some practice so um let's see i think i have a slow internet so now let's say uh, query the employees table and the department's table let's query both of them we can do um select select um select uh first name first name 
last name last name uh department department name and uh, from from hsr remember the schema where that employees tab is located hsr dot employees employees uh join uh we're joining employees and departments table department table is located at hr uh, schema hr dot departments departments uh using um using the what they have in common department id department id uh department id so this is what they have in common the department id is what they have in common is what joins these tables together the employees table and departments table so we are selecting first name comma mistake there comma we're selecting first name last name department name from hr dot employees you know that we can see first name column and the last name column on the employees table uh but department name we can only see that from the you know on the department uh, table first name and last name we can see that on employees table department name we can see that on a department's table i will show you that so now by using the the department id which is what they have in common what uh, you know uh, uh signifies their relationship so when we run this let's see what we can get highlight this and uh, click on run let's see what we can get so you can see we have first name last name department name so jennifer let's say pat for uh works uh you know with the marketing department so this is what we have here and that is pretty much what i wanted to show you guys so let's see let's check the employee departments you can see the department name there so select select uh, star from hr dot uh, departments and uh, let's see what we have here run uh from hr dot oh ho, 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 sorry with this uh, spelling depart departments let me see departments semicolon around this let's see what we have here so yeah that is it so this is the department's table with the columns and the rows and um let's see what we have you can use tsc desk uh tables at uh, desk employees employees desk employees 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 desk employees Employ desk oh i forgot the schema you can see i was writing only without uh, specifying the schema there's hr dot employees so so you can see the table colon the data type and the employee id so these are the information we have on that column so you can change that to departments department yeah that is what we have on the departments so guys this is pretty much what i wanted to teach you for now but in my subsequent videos i will be like we're going to be exploring this uh, live sql 
and uh, you know I will teach you more on this so thank you for watching and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and uh, I will see you in my next video thank you and God bless